So I got a request from one of the subscribers, uh, I think it's Kevin was his name, that he wants to see how the bees work on the inside of the hive or how they build the hive. So there's a couple of challenges with that. Firstly, it's dark inside, um, so we won't get footage. If we put a light in there, the bees might swarm around the lights and then block the lights out. And also to get the camera in there is a bit of a challenge also. So just to test the light issue, I just stuck my I just stuck my iPhone in here. Now today's a cold day, so the bees aren't that busy. Just to see how the bees will react to the light. And uh, so far it looks like everything is alright. So if the bees don't swarm around the light, then it means we might have a chance. So I'm just gonna play you guys the video recording I got on this on this phone that I just stuck in the beginning here, in the front here. You guys can see the bees coming and going in and out here. Maybe I'll get a slow mo vid, vid for you guys. given it some thought so what my plan is there's two options that I can do this to take photos inside of the the bees um, so with lockdown obviously I can't go and buy anything so I've got this empty box and I've got another couple of empty boxes over there that I've been thinking and playing around with this afternoon so the box where I want to put the camera in has got two I know that the last two frames of the box is empty so I can take those out then my plan is I'm going to put a, a iPhone i8 into the box and i'm going to put it sideways at the bottom there so it gets a fair angle um, to shine up against this first frame so if i remember correctly in that box this first frame that it's going to shine against then is the bees are still, still busy building it so it should give us a nice indication of how it was how it's busy building so this this piece of newspaper i just put onto this frame to see more or less how big an area we'll cover with the iphone i8 and if you look at these square blocks, we're going to cover about 3, 6, 9, 12 of them. If the angle, if I can get the angle right and the phone doesn't slide down. So then on the, the app I'm going to use, um, it's quite a handy app for time uh, lapses. It's called Snap, And the settings that I'm going to have on it is I'm going to set it at landscape. I'm going to use the back camera. It's going to flash every time it takes a photo. It's going to be on a 4K resolution. Uh, the timer interval is going to be every 15 seconds. Um, no delayed start, and that's about it. And when I render the video, it's going to be 25 frames per second, but then I can change that on the computer also. And then, so the flash will be on, so we should be able to see, and it shouldn't bug the bees too much. And then I'm going to have the power cable just go out the front side of the of the box where I will plug it in. So the plan is now, um, it's night here in South Africa now, and because we're working with the African killer bee, I'm gonna wear a full bee suit quickly to go and install all of this, um, and hopefully not disturb the bees too much. And then I'm gonna let it run for 24 hours. Okay, I don't know how much you guys can see. There the phone is inside the hive. At the moment, they're not too happy with the phone because uh, I've been moving them around so you can see that outside two frames are out all the other frames are in so you'll see there's some elastics on the frames here so this is a, a wild swarm that I caught about um, three weeks ago and this is the wild honey that I cut out and I put into frames and this is just how we hold it on the frames until they build it closed so these elastics they'll chew off 
Yeah, you can see most of the other frames, the elastics, they're already chewed off. Um, I just put some new ones on here because they were building a bit skew. So I just helped them with that. So there's the fan. They are stinging it like silly at the moment. There, I just took a photo. The power cord is running out the side. And we'll come back tomorrow night, irritate them a bit more, and see what footage we got.